Hello, everyone. I'm Leonid Lepidus, international expert from Russia with a, a skill 3D digital game art. And first of all, I would like to introduce you my colleague, Anna Malinovska. She is project manager at uh, Foreign Affairs Department of World Skills Russia. Anna, welcome. Thank you, Yanni. Hello, dear friends, dear colleagues. I'm very glad to see you all here. And I would like to welcome you from all our big World Skills Russia team and to say that this skills camp is not just a single training, it's a part of big international program. Uh, Yanid, may I ask you to share the screen and to show the presentation, to show my slides? Sure, one moment, please. Thank you. So I will go on. Uh, our training is a part of a big international program that we run together with our colleagues from World Skills Asia and our colleagues from Sahel region. And um, let me introduce your Sahel region. Uh, next, next slide, please. Uh, thank you. Sahel region is uh, situated on the far east of Russia and it is well known by its fast growing development. And in uh, 2018, Sahel region hosted Russia national competition and by now they develop uh, about 89 skills and they have more than 30 um, industrial and educational partners. Next slide, please. And now several words about Russia experience. We joined a World Skills Movement in 2012. Uh, next year we will have an anniversary. And in 2013, we uh, participated in the competition for the first time. And uh, you know, we were like on the last lines of um, results table, but we started to cooperate with our partners, with other countries. We started to develop and um, to bring world skills tools to educational system. And in 2019, we experienced hosting international competition in Kazan. Maybe some of you already were there. And in 2023, we will also host Europe competition. Uh, next slide, please. Based on this, our experience, we understand that for the most effective, uh, that one of the most effective ways of cooperation is mm -hmm. holding uh, joint international trainings. That's why we support this program. That's why we support the friendly competition that will follow after this training. Uh, and uh, we also know from our experience that it's really effective when not just experts have opportunity to train, but when they do it together with their competitors uh, for better understanding of all the stages of the process. Uh, and we are really happy that through this pandemic situation, we find the way to be all together, to cooperate. Um, you know, we are all on, in our countries in, the, in different venues, but in the same time, we are all in the same space, we are all together. And I believe that this training will be really effective and um, I wish you to get as much as possible for your future experience. Thank you. Uh, and we have here colleagues from World Skills Asia. I would, uh, I would like to give the floor for our colleagues. Abdullah, do you want to say several words? Hi, good morning, everyone. Good morning. This is Abdullah Al-Marri from World Skills Asia Organization. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How's everything, uh, guys? Okay. Great. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for attending this uh, session, uh, guys. And we have uh, full support, inshallah, from the organization. For any questions, anything, we are ready to be here. Thank you, Abdullah. 
So now, I suppose we can start. Yanin, please, the floor is yours. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Abdullah. Um, it's a big honor for me. <laughs> it's a big honor for me to um, to give you some uh, things about world skills, about our competition, uh, about our skill, about the competition, about the rules, vision, mission, and so on. Uh, and I think uh, at the first point, I should say English is not my native language, so please excuse my mistakes <laughs> and maybe not good pronunciation. Uh, do not hesitate to ask me any questions immediately uh, if you have them. Uh, we have, um, let's talk uh, a little bit about um, our schedule and about um, about our interaction. We have a group in Telegram Messenger and uh, one of the first, uh, the first, the very first file here is our schedule. Uh, let me, let me share the screen with you. Yes. Uh, we will start. Uh, we start at uh, nine o'clock. Uh, this is a Moscow time. Uh, please uh, change your time uh, with helping of this table. Um, we use Moscow time, and you can find your oh, well. time. Oh, so uh, I'm sorry, but the sound is not very good. Could you please ask your question once again? Okay, no question. Uh, you can just ask at any time. Okay, we start at nine o'clock. It's Moscow local time. Uh, use the first time table. Uh, this is a time zone scheme, so you can correct the time. As I understand, we have um, friends from India and from Taiwan. Uh, Ta Taipei, I think. I think yes. Uh, each day we will have three hours of work. At the first day, we will talk about world skills at all, about the history, values, goals, documents, uh, about uh, what world skills is and what uh, does uh, world skills provide for, for the world. At the second day, we will talk about our skill, about our typical uh, test project, about our marketing scheme, uh, about all aspects and how to understand them. And the third day, we will uh, talk about the competition, how to conduct it, uh, what should you do at first, at the second, what's your step as a expert, as a chief expert. Uh, I'm sure uh, you you will uh, become chief experts in your countries one day. So it's very uh, useful information to understand how to conduct the competition. And the last two days, uh, we will have a kind of competition emulation. Uh, I will introduce you a small test project for you and your uh, competitors. At the first day, we will try to uh, to do task from concept art and sketching, and we will try to uh, marking the the works, uh, sorry, re a result of works, of course. And at the second day, um, we are going to modeling. This is the second model in our skill. Also, you know uh, the PC configuration. Um, it's a minimum configuration, of course. 
if your personal computer is be uh, better than this, that's great. Congratulations. Uh, also, uh, we provide this software list. It's uh, Adobe Photoshop, Autodesk Maya, LibreOffice, and Zoom. I think it's enough for our test project. Um, and once again, please add your competitors at, um, at our Telegram rope. Um, I will provide some documents uh, at that chat, so it, it will be very useful. Um, maybe some questions about the uh, about our schedule. No. Okay. Uh, during the skill camp, uh, let me introduce you our interpreter, uh, Tagir. Uh, he is here, and he will help. Uh, hi, Tagir. Good morning, everyone. Uh, he will help me and my colleagues uh, in translation, in interpretation. Uh, so if you don't understand me, <laughs> do not hesitate to ask Tagir. And of course, uh, uh, maybe I don't hear everything, so I will ask Tagir to help me. Or maybe I forget some word in English, so I will help Tagir. Okay, let's start. And I would like to start with um, World Skills History. It's a very interesting uh, story. Um, we should uh come back uh, at 1946 uh, when the world was ruined <clears throat> sorry ruined after the second world war uh, and um, there was a big problem uh, there was no uh, qualified uh, specialists all over the world um, and the place um, where world skills um, began his history was uh, Spain and Portugal. Francisco Albert Vidal was charged with the Cretan skill, uh, skills contest for the young people. And in 1950, uh, a modest event by today's standards, it was international movement, uh, and this international movement was born. So the, uh, the date of the beginning is 1950. Um, the competition grew rapidly and young people from Germany, from Great Britain, from France, from Switzerland uh, answered the call um, and uh, two competitors from that country is traveling to Spain and uh, uh, with the, their own expenses, expense and uh, take uh, part in that competition. Uh, in 1958, the competition moved abroad for the first time to Brussels in Belgium. Uh, and it was the start of the world skills movement. Uh, and we can say this is a start of a, uh, across the globe movement. And now uh, uh, the, the history of world skills is very interesting, of course. Um, but I would like to say that now world skills it's a movement for 85 countries, 85 members of World Skills. Um, as I remember, uh, World Skills uh, reaches two thirds of the world's population. And um, as we can see in our uh, skill camp, 
all skills impact create measurable impact uh, on on every at, at every level. Um, and now it's time to uh, articulate role skills vision. Uh, let me read it for you. Uh, improving our world with the power of skills. And world skills mission, based on the vision, of course, to raise the profile and recognition of skilled people and show how important skills are in achieving economic growth and personal success. Um, during the world skills competition, during the world skills uh, each world skills interaction, vision, and mission are the keystones uh, in each uh, interaction. Um, and now I would like to talk with you about the education system. Who is from um, college or maybe university? Who is the teacher? Who is the professor? Uh, you can raise your hand with the reaction. For example, uh, send me heart like this. Uh huh. Thank you. One. Yes, On the one. Oh, Leon. Hi, Leon. How are you? Uh, uh uh, Leon asked, uh, has asked me, uh, do you show PowerPoint right now? No, I don't show anything. I'm just uh, talk with you. <laughs> uh, okay, let's talk about education system. Uh, what's the main problem of education system? What do you think? It's a question for all. Uh, yeah, uh, can we respond? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So mainly I think uh, the first uh, challenge uh, in front of education system is to be able to map its training exactly to the requirements that are there in the industry. So that is the first and primarily we, we should not find students learning something or doing something that they are not actually needed when they get onto the you know ground of profession, they are out in the market. So this is the first challenge. It has to be mapped perfectly to the outcomes that are needed. Yes, I agree with you. Anything else maybe? No, okay. Yes, I, I'm totally agree with Perminda. Um, yeah. Well, uh, I, I'm a, uh, chief executive officer and founder of my own company. So uh, I understand uh, the problems of industry and problems of education uh, system very well. Um, education system is not very flexible. Uh, it's not very agile, we can say. Uh, the try, uh, education system tries to use very old, um, maybe not so old, but not very effective um, system to give uh, some knowledge, to give skills. And this is a problem of industry. In Russia, we have um, a kind of joke, uh, maybe uh, the same joke uh, you know in your country uh, what our graduated persons from university here at the first day at their workplace the first thing please forget everything you know from university and now we will teach you how to work at our place uh, this is absolutely weird yeah, right. <laughs> Yes, exactly. <laughs> this is this is international <laughs> joke. I see. Yeah, it's an international joke. 
Yes. Yeah, um, I agree. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, uh, we need as some as some mechanics or some system which will um, provide information for education system and give for education system uh, some knowledges, maybe skills, uh, whatever, uh, to tune it, uh, to make it better. Uh, who knows everything about the work, about the different occupations? Of course, it's uh, industry. Industry knows what uh, tasks uh, skilled person should uh, should make. Uh, industry knows uh, what will be in next three, maybe five years. Uh, so industry knows everything. And industry uh, can provide a kind of maybe document. And um, this document we, we can, in world skills, we call it uh, World Skills Standard Specification, it's old uh, name of the document, and the modern name of the document is uh, World Skills Occupational Standard. It's a document uh, uh, provided by industry, and industry says what a skilled person should know and what skilled person should, uh, should make. Let me show you. Let me show you an example. One moment, please. Um, I need to share a screen with you. I hope you see the screen sharing from me. Uh, this is World Skills Occupational Standard. Um, and we have sections. We have uh, the individual needs to know and understand. It's about knowledge. And the individual shall be able to. This is about the skills. So industry provide uh, a kind of uh, standard. Of course, yes, this is a standard occupational standard about knowledge and skills. Also, uh, industry divide this standard into the sections. So the qualified person, person should know these and these and these and qualified person should uh, have knowledge about each section and should be able to make tasks from each section. So the typical role skills occupational standards uh, consist of section. Uh, in our skill, it's, uh, as I remember, seven. Yes, seven. Seven sections. And in each section, we have a knowledge part and skills part. Also, we have uh, a relative importance for each section. Um, what is the relative importance? Well, it's a kind of, um, <laughs> yes, it's a kind of importance, of course, for the skill. Uh, let me draw your attention at the section four, 3D modeling and the relative relative, uh, oh, sorry, relative uh, importance is 28%. So in 3D digital game art, uh, one third, near the one third of importance skills is 3D modeling, obviously. Um, and for example, the last section seven, Expert to game engine, the relative relative uh, um, importance is six percent. So, 
experts to game engine, it's not so important. Of course, the competitor or the skilled person should know and understand how to work with expert to game engine. Also, the individual shall be able expert to game engine, but it's not so important, like for example, reading, like for example, texturing is 20%. And of course, not so important as 3D modeling because our skill, the name of our skill, the title is 3D digital game art. It's about 3D modeling. So this part is most important. Okay, uh, the uh, industry provide for education system, for vocational system, uh, world skills occupational standard. It's a document which provides the information about the skilled uh, specialist. Okay, what should uh, education system make with this document? Of course, they should uh, make their uh, educational uh, st uh, or study program uh, based on this document. Okay, but uh, they should understand how to uh, how to understand. Uh, they should know how to understand. Uh, does each student uh, understand the occupational standard? Does it really know uh, knows or understands uh, what he or she uh, should? to do with the, each section or able to do. Uh, and industry asks, oh, sorry, educational system asks industry, please provide for us a kind of test project, a kind of, um, a kind of document which um, which show us and for our students the level of knowledge and level of skills. And uh, the answer of industry is very simple. Uh, let's, uh, industry says, okay, we can uh, provide you our typical tasks. Uh, the typical tasks is the tasks which uh, average uh, skilled person make every day on everyday basis basic um, each day for a long period of time and this document uh, calls test project so industry uh, provide for education system uh, test project okay industry says we have a kind of um, program, uh, kind of uh, educational standard. We understand what uh, knowledge we should provide for our students. We understand which skills we should provide to our students. Also, thanks to test project, we understand what is the typical tasks uh, in the industry and how we can measure uh, the skill level of our students. And industry can answer. Uh, industry provides a uh, marking scheme, a kind of uh, document with the, um, with the aspects. What, the, uh, what, what is the aspects? Um, let me... Uh, sorry. Yes, I see a lot of people join our group in Telegram. Welcome. Thanks for joining. Um, okay, uh, let's come back uh, to to aspects in marking scheme. What is the marking? Uh, what is the aspect? Um, 
let me let me uh, show you an example. Uh, my company makes uh, different um, software, and when we make a software, we make a kind of demonstration for our customers, and our customers uh, make. Uh, make an assessment or measuring their results. And they have a kind of um, table or aspects and they try to understand, okay, the software, we, we can start the software, yes or no? The software starts in three seconds, yes or no? The software, for example, can, uh, can provide an access for 100 uh, users, yes or no? And there are, uh, I think, hundreds uh, different aspects uh, our customers use. Um, and the aspects from industry is the absolutely the same. We can evaluate, we can measure the, resu uh, the results by their, but, but they, uh, aspects and um, uh, in raw skills all aspects is a kind of um, a kind of standard if you if you have got 100 uh, marks it's the absolutely best result uh, I think in the history of world skills, no one uh, has got uh, 100 marks. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but it's really hard <laughs> to get 100 is the maximum. Um, in our in our skill, the maximum was 80, 82 as I remember, in Abu Dhabi. In Kazan, uh, the maximum result was 76 from 100, of course, 100. Um, okay, and now we have a um, very big document. Role skill, uh, uh, sorry, not a document, um, a batch of documents. Uh, it's, it's a raw skills occupational. It's a kind of specification and it's a basis for educational program. So education system can uh, create study program, can understand what students should know and what they should uh, able to. Based on the occupational standard, uh, industry provide, uh, provide us a test project and this is uh, this document uh, give us um, a chance to make a measurement. Of course we need a measurement standard so this is a market scheme. Uh, industry provide us um, Industry provide for, provides for education system and infrastructure list. It's a typical environment for the uh, skilled person and provide a floor plan. And this is a physical environment for skilled person. So they say the skilled person and this skill should know this, should be able to do this, uh, he or she, works in this environment, uh, for example, table, chair, personal computer or Mac computer and so on. Uh, and the room should be with, uh, I don't know, with windows, blinds and so on. And uh, infrastructure list is personal computer with a software, with a um, hardware uh, with a very special um, 
requirement, technical requirements and so on. And at the final education system gets this standard. And for each skill we have this document. Let me show you technical description. Uh, this is our competitor from Kazan. She's from Spain. Uh, she makes, as I can see, it's the first day of competition. She makes, she creates a 3D model of the sandworm. Uh, <laughs> let's come back to the document. This is a technical description, and this consists of raw skills occupational standard, a marking scheme, and a test project. Uh, let me show you marking scheme. This is uh, uh, general information, and uh, about the and about the types of um, aspects. Uh, let's talk. Uh, maybe you have some questions. I'm sorry. Maybe I need to explain something. No? Uh, not okay. yet. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, <laughs> once again, excuse my English, please. <laughs> the gear, if you hear some, <laughs> some mistakes, you can. Correct me, please. I really need this. Um, okay. Let's talk about mark and scheme. We have um, criterions. Uh, criterions is a kind of part of mark and scheme. Each criterion um, divided into one or more sub criteria. Um, and uh, each sub criteria contains aspects to be assessed and marked by measurement or judgment, or both measurement or judgment. Uh, let's talk about the aspects and let's talk about. Uh, uh, different types, two types uh, of uh, aspects. There is two types of aspects, uh, measurable and, and judgment, or measurement and judgment. What is the, uh, what is the difference? Let's start with the judgment. Uh, judgment uses a scale of zero to three and um, um, the jury of consists of uh, four experts should judge each each result of work for each competitor. Uh, we will talk about this uh, uh, on on the third day how to conduct this, and now we should just know only the scale from zero to three. What is the difference? Of course, you can see the standard explanation zero, it's performance below industry standard, one performance meets industry standards, two, two performance meets and in specific respects exceeds industry standards, and uh, three, Mark three performance wholly exceeds industry standard and is judged as excellent. Uh, let me uh, introduce you a kind of example. Uh, for example, let's imagine you have a car uh, and accidentally that car was damaged and you need to make a repaint of, I don't know, maybe a, a door. Uh, you uh, ask uh, special service about the painting 
and they paint your car or just a door and uh, asks you and yes and asks you um, to uh, to benchmark or maybe um, to judge their work, work results you are not a specialist in uh, painting and if you see some problems in your car for example um, some paint drops or something like this um, may be not um, not smooth tone of the color you can say is it is zero because i'm not specialist in this area and i see mistakes so this is a zero the perform performance below industry standard each one can see the problem okay they repaint your car and once again they ask you they ask you uh, judge the result and you don't see any mistake okay you have a friend and he or she is a painter in the same service at a, from from other service uh, company uh, you ask them uh, judge the results and they're specialists in this area they look on the door on your car and they say well it's not a very big problem but i see mistake here and here this is a mark one because a specialist in in this area see some problems uh, but uh, the whole uh, work working result is okay so performance meets industry standard um, okay you ask to re repaint the door and the service make this work for you and once again they uh, ask you to judge the result and your friend his specialist trying to find some mistake on the door and he or she doesn't see anything he or she says it's a good work and uh, at the final uh, of the observation he um, trying to use a special a special equipment um, I don't know the exact na uh, name of this equipment in English. It's a very small box and uh, you can use it to uh, evaluate uh, the thickness of the paint. Uh, maybe Tagir, you can help me. Uh, Honestly, I don't know the the name, or maybe friends, <laughs> maybe you know uh, uh, this uh, this equipment. And your friend uh, see the problems. He see or for she sees problem with the painting, with the special equipment. So for this mark is two, because performance meets and and in specific respects exceed industry standard uh, why because um, your friend his specialist once again uh, uh, he or she doesn't see problems without equipment and only with equipment he see some he sees some problems and what is three three is a situation when your friend doesn't see any mistakes by the by by eyes uh, or at, at a glance he or she any problems with the special equipment and he can, he or she can say uh, this is a robot, robotic painting 
so we can say this is a Mark III. Uh, dear friends, do you understand the difference between 0, 1, 2, and 3? Yes. Yes, okay, thank you. Thank you, Leon. Okay, uh, about the um, how to make, um, how to conduct the uh, judgment, we will talk on the third day. And now we just need uh, to understand the difference between zero, one, two, and three. Okay, this is the first type of uh, aspect. The second type of aspect is uh, measurement. So um, three experts uh, will be used to uh, judge in this aspect. Um, how to understand that the aspect is measurement. Everyone all over the world can can answer the question in aspect because the uh, question uh, because the answer can be only yes or no. For example, um, does competitor provide, um, for example, the plan of the work? Yes or no? Can we as experts observe the file on the computer or we can't? If there is a file, so we can mark this aspect yes and put the mark. If there is no uh, file, so we can put, we can answer no and everyone all over the world can answer no uh, because it's very simple to say yes or no by the question. Uh, so our competitor doesn't uh, have any mark. And that's it. The result is zero. And uh, let me introduce you an example for judgment aspect. Um, with the same uh, example with a file, for example, um, the information in file uh, provided information, uh, um, sorry, provides schedule for each day plan of work for each day for uh, each software uh, with the breaks, with the... Um, Yes, <laughs> thank you, Parminda. A kind of echo from you. Uh, so we can uh, judge the content of the file. For example, if the uh, file is very, very simple, uh, it contains only with day one, I will make sketch, and the second two, I will make uh, models, it's a not very good uh, work plan. So we can judge it with zero. If there is some uh, details, okay, this is one. If the plan is detailed, we can mark it with two. And if the plan is very good, we understand everything. We can understand each step of the work. We can mark with three. This is a judgment. And we should be experts in the special area, in the subcrate area, or we should be an expert with a, a criterion. Uh, and in this module of the scheme uh, to evaluate uh, judgment aspect. But we shouldn't be an expert when we assess uh, measurement aspect because once again uh, 
everyone can give an answer yes or no uh, friends do you understand the difference between measurement and judgment aspects yes 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 yes, yes. That's good. Uh, i just had a question yes, yes yes please uh, so in judgmental uh, if say there are three experts who are marking right and uh, no <laughs> for for example for example or, if there are like three ex three experts who are marking for judgment yes. so one yes. judge gives zero and the other two judges give three then will it be an average or how will they calculate uh thank you prasad this is a very good question thank you very much <laughs> <laughs> this is our next topic oh. uh <laughs> thank you um this is uh not very, very um, frequent situation uh, because chief expert should understand who is a real specialist in this area and all of that uh, all of that experts in the um, in in jury they have the same vision about the judgment so more frequent situation, uh, situation, more usual situation. When one expert puts zero, the second one puts uh, one, and the third one puts zero. So zero, one, zero, for example. But yes, uh, sometimes uh, we observe the situation when one expert puts, for example, zero, and the second expert puts for example two minimum and maximum uh, exceed uh, exceed one one point so two minus zero equals two the discrepancy between zero and two more than one this is uh, we, we uh, we can't put these marks in, in, in the CIS. We will talk about this system as the next topic. Um, this is a system to put the marks in, in simple words. And what should a jury make in this situation? They should... Uh, uh, one moment, please. A rare judge. Uh, so uh, they, they should judge once again uh, at blind. They don't know who puts uh, zero and who puts uh, two as the mark. And they need to once again um, observe the uh, work result, observe the files and so on and then make the judgment once again. A uh, typical situation when they uh, exceed the discrepancy between the minimum and maximum, they, they make this discrepancy once again, even in red judge. Uh, and at this situation... Uh, oh, okay. Um, and this situation, uh, the expert who provides the, uh, the minimum mark should explain why he or she pulls the minimum mark. Uh, uh, let me show you uh, in a small example. Uh, I will share a screen with you. For example, we have three experts. The one is Sorin. The second one is Maria. And the third is Leon. 
Leon, you will be third expert <laughs> in this group. Okay, Michael puts zero, Maria puts one, and Leon puts two. In this situation, Michael should explain why he puts uh, zero. He should say, dear colleagues, I put zero for this aspect because, and then the explanation, for example, because draw your attention at this part of the work. Here we can see problem here and here and mistakes at this part. So this work is under the industry standards. So I put, I mark this work as zero. Okay, uh, at the second step, Leon must explain his uh, mark because his mark is maximum. Leon says, uh, I put mark two because, let me show, uh, uh, dear Michael, you say, you have said about the problem here and here. I don't I don't think this is a problem because uh, in this kind of model it's okay because and so on and so on and so on. Um, and uh, discuss Maria can Maria can says whatever she wants. Uh, she can explain the mark one and so on. And as the final uh, step, the uh, experts must re-judge aspect once again. They should put uh, marks with the maximum discrepancy with the one. For example, this is okay. And uh, it's a very typical situation when Leon downgrade his mark and when Michael upgrade his mark. It's absolutely okay after the red judgment. Uh, sometimes there is a situation, uh, for example, this uh, after red judgment. And what should we do at this situation? What do you think? One would be the right, since it's in the middle. No, <laughs> no, we should ask chief expert. We could call chief expert and says, dear chief expert, we have a problem. We judge, then red judge, and discuss the problem and rejudge again, but we can't uh go into the consideration could you please explain uh the aspect explain the marking strategy and so on uh, we should understand should we draw our attention at these mistakes or this is a not mistakes uh chief expert uh, mustn't judge he must uh, he should he or she just um, explain the marking strategy, explain aspect, ex explain what is the good in this aspect and what is the not good in this aspect. Uh, not um, applied for the work. Okay? Prasad? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sometimes uh, this is the first, uh, this is a second, and sometimes uh, a third situation. Yes, it's sometimes uh, we can see this. Of course, Michael should explain as the first, and Maria and Leon they decide who will be the first to explain the maximum mark. As a final, we should have something like this, or maybe this, or maybe even this. Sometimes it's a 
kinds of situation we can observe. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your question. It's very important and sometimes uh, fresh experts don't know what should they do. Um, let me stop sharing this and share with you our document. Um, sorry, the test project. The test project, as I have said previously, it's a kind of uh, for our competitors. Um, and in our skill, it's uh, it is secret. Um, other skills, test project might be uh, public, um, but uh, what's the problem with the um, public test project? What do you think, guys? Uh, one big problem. What do you think? Okay, uh, I see you, 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 you would like to listen to me. Okay, uh, the, by my opinion, uh, the biggest problem with the public uh, test project uh, is competitors can prepare uh, for that test project and they might be not a skilled professional but they uh, they can be skilled for the concrete uh, for the uh, test project which is public uh, for example the, um, apply to our skill. Um, our test project might be create 3D model of sandworm. Okay, and competitor can prepare for a long period of time for this test project and can um, create, I don't know, tens, dozens uh, of sandworms and uh, at the competition, he or she uh, makes the best sandworm. How we can um, evaluate who is the best? Because if the test project uh, will be would be not a sandworm, maybe I don't know Chinese dragon. Uh, what, who will be the leader? Who will be the uh, uh, most skilled person? We don't know. Uh, so, uh, long time ago, World Skills decided to add um, a 30% change in the test project uh, yeah, during the C minus two days so it's a day of experts when all experts gathering at the venue and and um, answering different questions about the competition and make some preparations for the competition of course uh, this uh, 30 yes 30 percent change uh, can help us um, solve the problem of the preparation. But 70% of the test project doesn't change. And the uh, competitor can be can prepare it for that part. And he can get 70 marks. And how we can evaluate who is the leader once again? The problem doesn't um, solve uh, 
Um, totally. Uh, no, absolutely. So uh, the new strategy of World Skills International for test project is secret test project. We have World Skills, uh, World Skills occupational standard, and our competitors should um, should be prepared uh, for um, for for any section of. Uh, World Skills uh, Occupational Standard. He should, should have, he or she uh, should know everything about different person characters. Uh, should uh, able to create different three D models, hard surface or uh, soft surface, organic. Um, and a competitor uh, doesn't uh, doesn't prepare for a test project. So, in our skill, test project is secret, and we um, we realize uh, release uh, the test project at first day of the competition. At the very beginning of the competition, chief expert uh, unveil uh, the test project for competitors, for other experts, uh, show them the task and say, let's start. Good luck. <laughs> and they start working. Um, our test project consists of um different models and different sections um typically uh we covers we cover all sections of world skills occupational standard in our test project there is such uh sections as catching and uh concept art the second one is modeling, 3D modeling, of course. The third is uh, UV unwrapping. Uh, the next one is texturing. The next one is rigging and animation. And the last one is working with game engine. So our typical test project is Please create uh, sketches and concept art of character. Uh, make the 3D model of that character. Then make UV unwrap for the model. Create textures. Uh, create rig and animation. The character and then put a 3D model with the uh, textures and animation as the game engine. Why so serious? <laughs> Why so hard? Um, honestly, in industry, this is a, this this is a task for uh, I think four or maybe for the five different persons. The first one creates uh, sketches and concept art for character. The second person creates 3D model and sometimes creates a UV unwrap. The next person creates a texture and he's specialist uh, in texturing, not in modeling, not in rigging, but only in texturing. The next person is specialist in rig and animation uh, and he makes absolutely awesome animation, but he don't he, he doesn't know anything about modeling. And the last one, typically, it's a software developer. It's a person who put the model into the uh, game engine. But in world skills, uh, we ask our competitor to do this work from the beginning from the scratch to the end why what do you think why why we're so 
um, I don't know what this word in English, why are we so serious? Why our test project is uh, so hard? Are you here, my friends? <laughs> yes. Yes, okay. <laughs> you are here, thank you. Um, at least <laughs> Prasad hears me uh, listens to him. Okay, uh, my question is uh, why our test project uh, in our skill is so hard? Maybe we want, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. Yeah, hello. Hi. Yeah. So should I speak or? Uh, yes. You, you, uh, you can. Yeah, maybe uh, we want uh, the candidates to be aware of the whole uh, process. Like we want them to be generalist first before they specialize into something. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Is, is because uh, the uh, person should be generalist. He must to understand the whole process. Uh, he or she should understand the pipeline of the work. And um, he or she uh, should know what the outcome and output of each um, each part of the work. At the very beginning, we should create sketch and uh, concept art. And 3D modeler, as, as the income, he gets uh, sketches and concept art. And he or she should know what is the sketch what is the good sketch and what is the bad sketch? He uh, should understand how to create the sketch. And at the final of his work, he or she should know and should be able to create a 3D model which can be used on the next steps as the um, UV unwrap, on texturing, and so on. So, um, Competitor should understand the whole pipeline, the whole process, and should understand uh, the output and outcome uh, of each part of the work and income for the next stage. It is the first reason. Uh, thank you very much, Parminda. Uh, I agree with you. And we have the second um, reason. The second reason uh, it's it's about competition. Uh, world skills is the story about uh, leadership. It's a story about um, world uh, champions. Uh, we are trying to find uh, the best of the best. Uh, as a competition, we see. Uh, 50, about 15 uh, persons from 15 countries, which are the best in their countries. And we should understand who is really the best, who, who is able to be, uh, as Parminder say, not just a specialist in small area, who is the specialist at general. Uh, and uh, this person must be a leader. This person uh, should get a uh, golden medal. Okay, uh, so our test project is, is very hard, um, but I think um, it's good. It's good for our competition. Uh, maybe you have some questions, guys. Uh, there is one small thing, Galinet. Like, uh, uh, can we get this document that you're sharing? Can we, uh, from where, can we get this document? Yeah, sure. Uh, one moment. Um, 
I'm going to send it to our group in Telegram. You can find it in our group. All right, that, that's great. Thank you. Okay, I suggest you to make a small break for 10 minutes. Okay. okay. Yes, yes, okay. it will be good. Okay. Yes. Sorry. Uh, there is a question, just curious, a little question that why not call in measurement instead of judgment for four scales at the first seeing them yes no looks more like answer on judgment. <laughs> I, I don't know, Leon. <laughs> uh, I, I think um, from the history of role all skills. Uh, 2016, there was two kinds of aspects. It was uh, subjective and objective. Objective was yes or no, and subjective was um, a kind of ruler from zero to 10. Uh, so objective, uh, you, you can say objective, yes or no. And uh, in 2016, at the beginning of 2017, role skills uh, started to use judgment. And uh, judgment and objective is not very good because uh, uh, old, not old, experienced uh, experts think, oh, this is objective, is from old system. So they call objective as measurement. So I, I think this is a reason. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. Thank you, really. Okay, thank you. Make a 10 minute break and then we can continue our meeting. Thank you, guys. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Sure. This is a floor plan for our international competition from Kazan. Uh, let me zoom in. This is the name of our skill. And this is a floor plan. As you can see, there is a border of the venue, there is walls, there is a table, a second table, a chair, and a computer, keyboard, mouse. Uh, I'm not Excuse sure. Me, uh, yes, yes. Oh, sorry. Hi. I'm don't. Sorry. Leon, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, this uh, this is a um, floor plan once again. Leon, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, this is a floor plan. This is a border of our venue. This is a wo wall. This is a table, another table, a chair, computer, keyboard, mouse, internet access and the second monitor, because we use two monitors in our uh, skill. Um, as you can see, we draw um, a le um, I'm not sure about the English word, electrical outlet. This is a voltage, typical Russian voltage. 220. Uh, what else? We have a briefing area with the tables and speaking, uh, sorry, sound monitors. This is the chairs for competitors and for uh, 
front rows for competitors and rear rows for uh, experts and we have interpreters they should sit here and waiting for questions uh, we have have a catering place with a water dispenser fridge a table uh, we have a workshop manager room a kind of a warehouse we have competitor uh, competitors with joyers and um, uh, this is a place where competitors can can relax, can cry. We have a skill management room. This is a room for a skill manager, a chief expert and deputy chief expert. They can make a briefing here. They can ask um, questions, different problems here. And we have experts room. This is a room with the drawers, with the tables, with the printers and a big briefing area to make some discussions um, and during the competition experts can relax in, in this room and of course they can cry as they are competitors um, yes competition it's not very easy event of course we have a legend a wall barrier and so on equipment our furniture and so on so uh, before the competition skill management team uh, in uh, during the competition preparation week this week as i remember one is um, uh, one year prior to the competition, before the competition. Um, the skill management team, it's a skill manager, chief expert and deputy chief expert. They create this document, the floor plan and um, uh, send it to organizer committee and the organizers um, make a procurement of tables, chairs, computer monitors, PCs and so on. And before the competition, they build the venue. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, let me send this document in our group. Um, you can use this document as a reference to create your own floor plan. before your competition. Okay, maybe some questions about the floor plan. I have uh, one question. Then. Yes, please, Parsal. So uh, when the candidate is appearing for the test or when they are giving the test, what do the experts do that time? Uh, Sorry, could you please repeat what you export? So, so when a uh, candidate is giving the competition, like is in the competition and uh, giving the giving the test, what what do the experts do that time? It, do they guide them? Can they guide them, or they just have to watch? Uh, I think I need Tagir to help me because. I'm not sure I'm I'll just I'm I'll just sure. write the question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Basically basically it means I, I misheard you. 
А, hello. 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 Работает. Да, Тагир, maybe you can... А, меня слышно сейчас, Леонид? Yes. Да. да, вопрос в том, чем занимаются эксперты, пока участники работают. То есть эксперты просто смотрят или чем они занимаются, он спрашивает. А, спасибо, вообще не понял ни слова. Спасибо тебе. Окей, Тагир, just help me. Uh, thank you, Тагир. Окей, um, okay. during the competition, experts, uh, they can see it in experts experts room they patrol uh, around the venue uh, they <clears throat> they sit on chairs so they don't have some special work they just need answer questions from competitors if any And... they, they can't guide the competitor right sorry they can't guide the competitor Yes, yes, you, uh, they, they can't uh, okay. give any, um, any, any cheats, any advice about the competition. They okay. should, uh, there is a term, expert compatriot. Uh, for example, there is a competitor from, for example, Spain, and he is Uh, or her expert from Spain, he or she is compatriot. And during the competition, compatriot expert mustn't uh, provide any advice, mustn't give any cheat codes for competitor. It's strictly prohibited. Uh, also, compatriot mustn't Uh, judge his uh, competitor, his or her competitor. For example, expert from Spain mustn't judge com competitor from Spain. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay, th thank you. Thank you, Prasad. Um, let's go to the next document. And the next document is infrastructure list. This is infrastructure list from World Skills uh, uh, International from Kazan. Uh, I will share this document with you. Um, one moment, please. This is infrastructure list. Um, let me change screen sharing to this program. I hope now you see my Excel file. Uh, we have a header. This is a event, dates, address, skill, skill competition manager, and other uh, other information. This is um, the size of the venue, 30 by 30 meters. Uh, As you can see, our floor plan it's, it's the same size, of course. And here we have different sections. For example, competitors work area. What we should have here, high-end PC, why we don't use um, requirements because um, it's just because the procurement uh, process During the competition, we have low-end PC, uh, normal PC, and high-end PC. And each competition should answer the question, skill, uh, skill management team should answer the question, what kind of PC do you need? 
high end, low end, or normal. For example, we have a, a skill um, hotel reception, and they need a low end PC because uh, for that competition, uh, the PC is just for making, for printing documents. It's very simple computer. And for our competition, or for example, uh, I don't know, maybe electronics, we need high-end PC. And we put here the quantity. Um, as you can see, quantity for each competitor and the total quantity for the venue. For example, 24 inches monitor, we need two monitors for each competitor and we have 10 competitors, so 20 monitors for the venue. Uh, wired mouse, uh, let me zoom in. Uh, wired mouse and wired keyboard. Uh, why we use wired? Uh, because in one competition, <laughs> we we observed the problem. Uh, there was two competitors and they sit very, very close to each other. And they have a wireless mouse and wireless keyboard. And at uh, one moment, uh, one competitor makes a move for his mouse and the uh, mouse pointer on the another computer make the movement so it's a kind of cross of um, signals from the wireless mouse and wireless keyboard it was absolutely it, it was total disaster <laughs> because we can't uh, continue the competition and from that day we used only wired mouse and wired keyboard uh, this is not um, obligatory, but it's a strong recommendation. Of course, we need a graphic graphics tablet. Uh, we prefer to use Wacom. Uh, 42 inch LED TV screen and will stand for TV screen because World Skills is about a show. It's a kind of show. And it's a kind of um, uh, show for young people to understand what the skill is. For example, uh, my, I have a daughter, she is uh, six years old, and in 10 years, she needs to decide uh, the, the further life maybe she would like to be a doctor maybe she would like to be an engineer i don't know or maybe she would like to become a hairdresser or designer or maybe 3d designer <laughs> um, and i would like to show her uh, world skills competition because she will see uh, what uh, each uh, specialist do on the workplace. For example, uh, if she would like to become a hairdresser, I will show her a hairdressing uh, skill and say, dear daughter, you can see the place of work, the typical task, uh, whatever you want. Uh, so uh, World Skills is a show uh, for young people. And 42 inches more screen stands near the near each competitor and, and um, uh, sorry demonstrate uh, one working monitor. So, competitor sits at the table at his PC and create 
sketches, 3D models, uh, UV unwraps, and so on. And uh, visitors can see his work not on the small 24 in 24 inches monitor, but uh, visitors can uh, observe the work on the big 42 inches monitor. Of course, bigger is better. Of course, we need operating system for our PC. It's a Microsoft Windows 10, uh, 64 bit, a uh, professional edition at least. And the software list, Autodesk, Max, uh, the last uh the last version uh maya the last version at, the, at that moment of course mudboard more oh, sorry mudbox and sorry uh adobe photoshop adobe illustrator zbrush for sculpting uh substance painter and substance designer as i know it's not algorithmic uh, Sorry, algorithmic is a part of Adobe now. And two uh, game engines, Unity and Unreal Engine. Also, we provide some materials and consumables, paper, pencil, eraser, uh, furniture for one competitor, two tables and chair, and uh, we don't need some health and safety equipment, but I'm sure uh, next competition, the mask and the gloves and something like this and antiseptic uh, will be obligatory. The world is changing now, so we need this health and safety equipment. Okay, and competitors, shared work, we don't have shared briefing area, the same high-end PC, monitor, tablet, uh, 65 TV screen instead of um, project projector because projector uh, is not very good in colors, uh, but TV is very good in colors. And the same configuration, also we need for briefing areas, microphone, uh, wire or wireless, it's uh, based on the size of the venue, audio amplifier, audio speaker, and refrigerator, water dispenser, lunchbox table, digital clock to show our competitors how many time uh, do they have. And for experts room, the same configuration of computer, uh, table chairs, bean bags to lay down and to cry on the bean bag locker to put uh, private equipment and so on, maybe cell phones. Chief expert room, just a laptop, table and chair, and competitors room, just table, chair, lockers. Sorry. Uh, I think that's it. Stationary, it's absolutely standard. Paper, folders, stapler, scotch, paper clips, scissors, tape, <laughs> magic scotch. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what is magic, why magic scotch is just a tape. Okay, maybe some questions on the infrastructure list. No questions. Okay. I have already shared. Me, yes, yes, Leon. Last time I have asked about the software issues. Uh, 
uh, we only use the Autodesk software during this uh, emulation also. So, so sorry, and, and what's the question? Oh, sorry. Uh, I have a question about the uh, software. Uh, can we just only use uh, Autodesk uh, uh, software this time? Uh, we, at this time, we can use Autodesk. Uh, let me check. Um, I need to check it in our document. Um, Adobe Photoshop, Autodesk Maya, just Maya. Uh, okay. I think we can add Autodesk 3ds Max. Uh -huh. uh, honestly, uh, me and expert from uh, Finland, Mikko, uh, we many, many years ago, we asked uh, World Skills International to add uh, Blender to our infrastructure list because in Finland and in Russia and in many other countries, uh, Blender is industry standard and uh, it's free and uh, that's a great software. Um, but <laughs> there is a one problem. Uh, the problem name is uh, how to say <laughs> nice way <laughs> money, okay. Uh, I, would, uh, I, I wouldn't like to name this problem. Uh, we have a chief um, chief sponsor, Autodesk, and they say we are the sponsor of their world skills, and we would like to be only one uh, supplier of software. Auto, uh, sorry, uh, Adobe Photoshop is not a competitor for us. We don't have the same uh, software. So uh, Adobe Photoshop is okay, but Blender is a great competitor for our software. And Blender is free of charge. And if the people see uh, that uh, you can uh, use free software and you can pay a lot of money for Autodesk, People prefer Blender. It's not uh, good for us as uh, sponsors. So Blender is prohibited. <laughs> That's it. That's the story. Uh, we. Well, I hope one day we will add Blender in our infrastructure list. I I want to add Blender in our infrastructure list. Maybe. Uh, I hope <laughs> in World Skills Asia we can add Blender. I don't know who is the sponsor uh, of World Skills Asia, and maybe we can make some uh, how to say discussion. Uh, not no discussion. Uh, okay, discussion <laughs> with our Autodesk and ask them to use Blender at least in world, world skills asia and it will be a good step to use blender in world skills international but now i'm sorry wait, wait we can't use for, okay. for us for, for, for russia thank you for sharing this story for us yes yes for, for russia it's uh, very important Thing, uh, because Autodesk, uh, it's where uh, Max and Maya, it's very expensive software. And Blender will be the, <laughs> the best uh, option for us. And uh, in Russia national competition, uh, all experts from all over the all Russian regions, they uh, asked me uh, each time 
let's add blender please but autodesk is general sponsor of russian national <laughs> so they have absolutely the situation in russia okay uh uh one more infrastructure uh, yes marking scheme uh marking scheme i will show you uh just um just the um, typical infrastructure list it's right it's in russian and i think it's better <laughs> you don't know russian uh, and you will see only this structure so this is a marking scheme a skill name 3d digital game art we have a criterions uh, let me uh, make small translation for you plan and work organization design brief interpretation concept art 3d modeling uv unwrapping texturing rigging and animation and experts in game engine as you can see here we have uh, the the same uh, the same quantity of uh, relative um, importance as in world skills uh, occupational stand and here we have this is a criterion for example criterion uh, let's um, one moment please uh, okay criterion a plan and work organization and we have four sub criteria a1 a2 a3 a4 uh, for example sub criterion a1 has only one uh, a1 sub criterion working with psd files it has only one measurement aspect all layers and folders in psd files are uh, renamed uh, this criterion uh, is about um, all you you shouldn't a competitor shouldn't use the default names layer one or folder one all layers must be renamed let uh, let's draw attention to the c1 c1 is the sub criterion in criterion C, C is about concept art, C1 is about concept art and industries meets the industry standards. And there is a lot of aspects in this sub criteria. We have one, two, three, four, five measurement aspects and we have one two three and four um judgment criteria uh, aspects sorry for example measurement uh, this is a once again re uh, let me repeat uh, measurement aspect is the aspect when uh, the answer of the question might be yes or no for example these uh, aspect there is at least three different ideas in sketches so uh, we can just count there is one there is two there is three different ideas in sketches uh, if we see three different ideas we can say yes and our competitor will get one moment please one one point one mark uh, 
this aspect, for example, there is proportions on concept art. Yes or no? If we see proportions, so our competitor will get one mark. Yes. If there is no proportions, there that's zero. And let me show you the example of judgment. This is a judgment. Uh, for example, the um, the question is: there is a good work with the colors in concept art. Uh, draw your attention at the word "good work." There is no questions. Uh, there is no answer yes or no. Uh, the um, the quality can be different. So uh, the good work with the color in concept art. Zero. There is no color. One. Pure wor working with color. Two. Good working with color. Three. Excellent working with color to um, to exceed the uh, quality. So here we can uh, evaluate the quality of the color. If there is no color, it's below industry, and this is zero, there is no color. If there is a bad col uh, color using, there is, we can put one good uh, color using two and excellent is three uh, we will talk about oh sorry uh, okay we will talk about the um our marking scheme tomorrow we will talk about the uh about the test project and we will talk about the marks and about all aspects. Uh, and the last, uh, last document I would like to show you. One moment, please. This is um, this is a document from. Uh, World Skills International website. You can find it. Code of Ethics and Code of Conduct. This is a very important document. Uh, whatever you do, whatever you uh, say, should be um, should be measured. Should we? Um, I'm sorry, I forget this word in English. Um, should be relay on the code of ethics. There is some values and ethical foundations of all skills. As you can see, is ex they are excellence, diversity, fairness, innovation, integrity, partnership, and transparency. Uh, it's very important that everything on the competition uh, would be fair smooth everything would be transparent for all competitors for all experts uh, everyone understand that uh, other people respect uh, human rights uh, respects uh, diversity and so on. Each one is tolerant. Um, so I, I, I think it would be great. Uh, you find uh, your, your home task. <laughs> um, please find this document on World Skills International website and please. Read it carefully, maybe twice, uh, and understand the values of all skills 
understand the um, code of ethics and code of conduct of all skills competition and it would be great in our work and in, not even in our work but in all competitions we will meet together in next years um, that's it for today from me maybe you have some questions Yes, yes, no. Uh, do you think we have to discuss about the competitors unit, uh, how to set up their camera and their uh, computer on their local place? Okay, let's uh, talk about this. Um, I think uh, we can use um, uh, Zoom, Zoom conference. And I think we can use screen sharing and don't use uh, the camera uh, because I'm not sure Zoom can uh, Zoom can't mix uh, two video channels from the screen and from the camera. I think it's better for us to see how the comp how competitor works. Um, what do you think? We can use camera or put camera from the rear side. And we will see monitor and we will see a competitor. What do you think? What's better? I was I was just wondering if everybody share their screen on the uh, uh, chatting place. Uh, can Zoom have it? Ha can Zoom have all the competitors screen on it? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, Leon, I agree with you. I think it's enough for this skill camp. This is not a real competition, so uh, we need just to make a, a kind of training. So I think it's enough. Yeah, yeah I agree. Okay. Okay, we will use uh, screen sharing in uh, Zoom, uh, in Zoom, and we can just change uh, sh screens and see each competitor. Okay, thank you. Okay. Any other questions? No. Okay, uh, you can ask. Uh, any questions in our uh, Telegram group, you can ask me, you can ask our organizers. Uh, thank you so much uh, for this uh, meeting. Uh, I hope in these days uh, you are in safe, especially our friends from India. Uh, yeah. I know... Yes. I know, yes, the very bad news from India. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes. we, we heard it in Taiwan too. Yeah, I hope everything will be okay. Uh, please be on safe side. side. Thank you. Uh, take care about you and about your, uh, your relatives. Okay, see you tomorrow. Yeah, thank you, Leonard. Thank it you. was really, really very, very informative and a very useful session. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Guys, so, see you tomorrow. We'll see you same time, right? Tomorrow. Yes, yes, at the same time. Yeah. Thank you very much, guys. Thank Goodbye. You. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. 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 Да, спасибо. Замечательно. Да, спасибо тебе. Так, и, наверное, Александра. Мы закончили, поэтому можно выключать запись и делиться ссылочкой. Да, хорошо, спасибо. Привет. Да, все, спасибо, я отключаюсь.